What is up everybody? Wes back again with Auto Mafia Racing and today we have another project. This project, a guy named Marty, they have a YouTube channel too. We are going to be tuning his S550 Mustang. Now let's take a look at this thing. It is a 2015 to 2017. It is a V6. It had a pro charger on it, but it currently has been twin turboed. That's their YouTube, the dropping gears. I didn't remember what it was called because it used to be called something else and they changed it. So the dropping gears YouTube channel. So this is a 2017 to 2015 V6 S550 Mustang. It's still a 3.7 liter, just like all the other ones we always work on. So this has a mid mount turbo system, which means the turbos are underneath the car and right basically in front of the transmission, kind of where your catalytic converters used to be. So we'll pop the hood. I'll show you guys what you can see. And then we'll end up getting the car in the lift. We'll show you guys that and we'll get her tuned. We're going to try and make about eight to 10 PSI in the car. And the goal is 500 to 5 550 rear wheel horsepower. I think we can do it. What do you think, Cody? 550 sounds nice. 550 sounds nice. I think it's gonna be more power than he's ever felt before and he can start gapping some stuff. He made about the same power, a little over 500 with a pro charger, running 13 pounds of boost. So we're gonna do that same power, but with less boost and he's gonna get into it a whole lot sooner. Should be a nice sweet ride, so let's get at it. So here we go in the engine bay, guys. Now, if this looks mildly familiar, that's because this is the same kit that the Parker Performance guys tried to install here at the shop. So it's been fixed now. Everything should be good to go. A lot of things were changed, like this line was changed. Obviously, that's still purple. Hopefully, he changes that. Um, but it doesn't appear to be leaking anymore, which is good. And he's currently just running breathers on either side. I think we're going to get that changed because I'm not a fan of that setup. It's definitely still going to leak and blow off. He needs our dual valve cover catch can and breather system that we build. It's about 450 bucks, but it's all billets. It's really nice. That's what he needs on this car for sure. But as you can see, peeking down in there, that's where the turbos are hiding. Um, I'll get under the car and we'll show you guys exactly what everything looks like and then we'll get it tuned. What is up guys? Another day back here at Automafia Racing and we have Marty's twin turbo pro charger. Twin turbo pro charger. We have Marty's twin turbo car that used to be pro charged on the dyno today. So like I said, it's on the dyno. We're getting set to make a rip here. We got our base tune loaded. We're going to test a couple things out. I'm basically going to check the idle on it, make sure it's idling fine. We'll do some part throttle pulls and then we'll finally go ahead and whack it with a, a good solid third gear pull or a fourth gear pull and we'll see what kind of power it makes. Now, we're mainly going to be really careful with this kit because the last time we tried to tune it, it just wanted to make absolute moon boost, which would just blow up a car. So. We're gonna be very careful in watching that uh, boost gauge very carefully. We don't really wanna exceed 10 pounds of boost while we're starting the tune here. So we're gonna to get to it. I'm gonna show you guys under the car so you can really see what the kit looks like and where everything kind of is. Um, this is not a kit you can buy. This is not a kit I recommend buying. Um, just go with our single S550 kit or our single S197 kit. Much easier install, everything fits right. You'll have a much better time, but we'll still make some power on this one. All right, so as you can see, we are under the car. So there's, there's our motor plate, oil plan, transmission. So this is a oil reservoir to drain from the turbos. We're glad that is set up correctly now. Um, they don't appear to be look, leaking too bad. There are a couple drips off of this one on the floor I saw. So basically, it's a twin turbo kit. So you have a tur small turbo on either side. Really, they should be smaller. They're a bit large um, for this motor. Um, and then you have your wastegate on either side. And it looks like we're plumbed correctly, which is just turbo to wastegate, which means we should be running just wastegate pressure. Now, that should be fine. Now, our, our main O2s have been relocated post-turbo instead of pre-turbo which is good and it looks like he even managed to get some filters on up here which is interesting so little tiny filters we'll see how those do but yeah this, this is the kit it sounds okay he's got some resonators on it flow 
Webmaster Flow FX Resonators. Big fat X pipe. This is obviously a, a custom done exhaust, guys. So I don't know. I think it. I mean, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, definitely an exhaust shop, not a fab shop for the welding, but it'll hold right as long as it holds and it's sealed and it doesn't leak. It's really all that matters. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get her her first crank up and we'll get to tuning. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and make our, our first full throttle pull. Um, we're obviously gonna watch it pretty carefully and make sure that uh, we're good to go on it. But yeah, first throttle pull, uh, first full throttle pull. So it should be good. Um, it looks like the turbos are kicking off at uh, seven PSI, which is wastegate pressure and that's what they should be at. So let's do it. guys not bad at all so remember this is only seven psi both the both the turbos or their waste gates are set with seven psi springs and that's what we're holding and so that's awesome so on this pool on our first pass we made 427 rear wheel horsepower and 392 foot pounds of, of torque so that's pretty good I'm pretty excited we're gonna keep working at it we'll get that up a little more I'm just really happy to see that the car is holding seven psi of boost because before this kit just wanted to go to the moon so it does still smell like it's leaking oil and burning it. So that's probably still a major issue with this kit. The shop is obviously super smoked out right now, but all of our data looks really good. So we're gonna keep on going and we'll let the customer Marty fix his oil leaks. All right, so we've done some good pulls. We got the data, the car's running really, really well. So the car wants more timing because it's got really good fuel. So we added two degrees to it. Um, we're gonna be rolling with still pretty low timing we're going to be under 20 to keep it safe for the guy and we're it's only on 7 psi so i think we're going to make 435 horsepower 405 foot pounds of torque what do you think cody mm. yeah 430 sounds about right what do you think 430 430 400 okay let's see fingers crossed let's send it oh don't have your They're inside the car somewhere. Nah, no, bro, it ain't here. It's right there. Oh, where'd you set those down? Thank you. Look, I know I don't have them. Alright, so not bad. We made 425, 398 on a hot car, hot lap. So I'm pretty happy with that. That's 7 PSI. We're gonna take it. We're done. Let's give it back to Marty and let him enjoy it. Are you recording? Yeah. Alright, guys, we made a couple more 
adjustments. We gotta get more power than 4, uh, 427. I want at least 430. So we're making another hit. The engine is still hot, but let's do it. I wanna hit that 400 torque number. pretty close 434.5 and 406.2 I'm happy with that that's still a pretty safe tune it's gonna go Marty's gonna come pick it up tomorrow we'll get a video of him driving it and see his reaction now he was driving a 500 horsepower uh, v6 but it was a pro charger car so it comes on differently nowhere near as aggressively as this it's a lot smoother so because these are big turbos it's a big twin turbo kit um, it, it's not what we would recommend whatsoever for a build. Basically, it takes the turbos until like 4,500 RPM to really even hit seven PSI of boost. And yes, then they're making a lot of boost, you know, or they could make a lot of boost, but they're only making seven PSI because we have the wastegate at. But it takes them a lot longer to get to that. Basically, what I'm saying is David Sosa's kit, which is an S197 car with our MPG kit on it, we make more horsepower earlier at the same or less PSI than this kit because we can get to it earlier, we can get to it faster with a smaller turbo and still make plenty of power to blow the motor with over 600 horsepower. So this kit, I mean, we're still gonna make good power with it. It just comes on a lot later, a whole lot later in the power band. And then, I mean, you can look at it. Now that we, you know, we did some tweaking, it stays on a little later, but the power band falls off because we are losing the boost. So that's the difference between a big turbo and a smaller turbo, as long as you have room in that turbo still, you're not maxing out the turbo. So for this, basically the twin turbo kit on it, the turbos are too big for the application. They need to be smaller so that it gets into boost faster. And then we can run more boost and make the power. So that's it though. I'm looking forward to his face at least because it should hit pretty hard. Um, we'll pull it off and, uh, and go drive it on the street and we'll see how it does. All right, guys, Marty's here today, and he decided that that 430 horsepower wasn't enough on 7 PSI. No. So we're going to upgrade to 12 PSI wastegate springs, yeah. and then we're going to send the car again. So now we should be able to get over 500 horsepower. Yeah, it's five, 550. We'll, we'll get it. <laughs> we'll get it. So he's going to crawl under there. He's going to get those installed, and then I'm going to reload a tune, and we're going to rerun it on the car. Let's make some power. You guys are getting her bolted on under there. Back with some lower boost this time, hopefully yeah. like 10 PSI. I don't think the injectors can take much more than 10 PSI, so hopefully it's like 10, 11 PSI. Should be around 10 to 11. Might be 12 by itself. But uh, they should. we should be fine on injector for that, but we'll definitely be at the limit of it. Um, we're going to get some new injectors, hopefully for them soon, and a boost controller. That way we can dial it up little by little instead of making huge jumps with springs. But we'll be getting it done. Look for this run, should be good. Okay, so we have these smaller springs in the car. Hopefully they're like a 10 pound spring or something. They're probably a 12 pound spring is what I'm thinking. Um, so we'll watch the boost and we'll watch the air fuel and we'll get out of it if we have to, but we should be good this run, I'm thinking. As long as the injectors can keep up, we'll be fine. Let's do it. There it is. <laughs> And a lot cleaner. Yeah. A lot cleaner. 500.1 horsepower. Four That's two, two. more like it. Yeah. That's what I wanted to see the first time. I was watching air fuel, so I didn't look at boost. So we'll check it now and we'll see what it made. It's going to take me a second. I got to calculate it. So there you go, guys on the 10 to 12 uh, pound tune. 500 horsepower, 462 foot-pounds of torque. Nice and easy. We are out of injector. It definitely needs the bigger injectors. So 
Marty, what's your wife's name? Christina. Christina, he needs bigger injectors for this car to run safely. Let him buy them. She said no today. So we're gonna get those bigger injectors on here eventually and then we can be back in that upper 500s and running around good. So we're gonna take her for a spin right now, pull it off the dyno and we'll see how she does on the street. Oh, shit. Oh. Not even nothing yet, man. Which way? Go this way? Go left. Go left. We're going on 17, dude. Oh. I'm, waiting. I'm waiting, 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 waiting. Holy shit. Yeah, I definitely. This is way different. Way different than a Pro Charger. Yeah. chargers i love pro charger they're great but turbos just make more power No, it comes in harder than your car. Yeah. It comes in a lot harder. <laughs> All right, so what do you think, Marty? Oh, it's awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> and we're just getting started. Yeah. It's, it's so good. It's turbo. Pro Charger's good. But if you want to have fun, make power turbo. That turbo, that Mafia tune, making tons of power. Yep. And he can't even get in it all the way, guys, because he needs those injectors. Yep. So just wait till he gets the injectors and he can actually rev it all the way out. I know. Oh, I'm just gonna go nuts. Uh, yes, yes I am. And then we're gonna have to turn up the boost. No, then we're going to the track. <laughs> going to the track. Yep. Gotta see what he runs. He's not gonna run a nine. No, no. <laughs> He's not gonna run a nine like us, but we'll get him into the tens, I think, yeah. for sure. Definitely. And that full weight car. Definitely. And it'll be awesome, man. Oh, yeah. Thanks for bringing it to hey, us. Man. Thank you, thank I you. I can't wait to make more power. We'll see you guys next time. Get ready for more power on Marty's car, more power on this V6. But again, there's another 500 plus horsepower V6 coming out of Auto Mafia. We'll see you next time.